Hey guys, I'm back and today I filmed for you this navy smoky eye. I've gotten a few requests for a dark blue smoky eye and on my last video someone did request a navy smoky eye and I tell you guys, like, if you leave me requests down below, I will do them. So this is what I did for you today. I don't know if I really like the lips because you know when you're a little girl and you get like your first makeup kit and you like automatically for some reason put like bright blue eyeshadow on, pink cheeks, and bright pink lips. That's kind of what I feel like today. But I feel like because it's a little muted, the lips, so like it kind of matches my crease. So I hope it's not that bad. <laughs> I am filming with a different camera today. So I hope I'm in focus because I can't focus this at all. It's autofocus and it won't connect to my laptop. So I can't even use a monitor. I have to figure out how to do that. So... Throughout the video, let me know what you guys think. I hope it's good enough that I can put it up. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think if you like the whole quality, the color, and everything of it better than my other camera. So, because obviously I want to put out the best quality videos for you guys. So let me know what you guys think and which one you like better. And I feel like that should be it. So if you guys want to stick around and see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So the first shadow that I'm taking is Makeup Geek's new and reformulated matte eyeshadow and Petal Pusher. So I'm taking the shadow on a Sigma E40 Taper Blending Brush, and I'm just going to run this through my crease and make sure to bring it sort of high because I want all the shadows to blend out into this shadow. I'm then going in with Makeup Geek's new and reformulated matte eyeshadow in Motown. Now I'm picking up this shadow on a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to start applying this through my crease. So let me know what you guys think of this camera so far. Like what do you think of the quality, the color, is it better or is my other camera better? I don't know. I'm still just trying to figure it out. So let me know what you guys think. Then I'm going to go back into Petal Pusher and just apply this on the very edge of my crease just to really blend that purple shadow out. As a base, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cobalt. So now for the fun part, I'm going to apply this Jumbo Pencil all over my lid. And then I'm just going to take my finger and just blend that out. And then I'm going to go into the Smashbox The Santi Golden Age Eyeshadow Collage and pick up this blue shadow right here. So now I'm picking up this blue shadow on a Sigma E54 brush and I'm just going to start packing the shadow onto my lid over that NYX pencil. And now I'm going to start packing this into my crease and I'm just patting it in there and then I'm going to blend it out. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of Motown, which was that darker purple shadow, on the tip of my brush. And I'm just going to start really blending this blue shadow out. And now lastly, I'm going to go in with Petal Pusher again on the very edge of my crease. And I'm just going to blend all of those shadows out into this really soft pink lilac shadow. And now for my lower lash and I'm just picking up Motown, which was that purple shadow. And I'm just going to run this all over my lower lash and really smoke this out. And then going into that blue shadow one last time and just running this over that purple. I'm then going into the Tarte Energy Noir Clay Palette and I'm picking up Full Moon. So I'm applying this shadow on the high point of my brow bone and then just blending it down. This shadow is a sort of like flesh tone pink shadow so it really matches the entire look. And then to highlight my inner corners I'm picking up Crystal Spark. And then I'm just going to take that highlight shade and just pop it on my inner corner to really make my eyes pop. Then going into Sigma Standout Eyes Gel Liner in Wicked. Then I obviously wouldn't be a smoky eye if I wouldn't put a little bit of gel eyeliner to really darken up the entire look. So I'm going to line my waterline with this. Sigma liner and as well as tight line. So I'm just going to apply some mascara and falsies and the lashes that I'm using are these Esquito Lashes and Walla Lash and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the eye look done. 
Okay, so for my lips, I wanted to do something that was a little bit different, but that still was kind of in the color scheme of the whole look. So I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Dusty Lilac. And then to line my lips, I'm going to line them with the Prestige Lip Liner in Silk. So I think they match pretty well. So I'm going to line my lips first with the lip liner, and then I'm going to fill them in with the lip gloss. And now I'm going to fill my lips with the lip gloss. I feel like it really matches my crease. So hopefully it looks good. <laughs> So this is the finished look of my navy smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, before I get into all that other stuff, let me just just take let's just take a moment to look at my highlight. Let's just do it. I was never one to like highlighters. I always love it on people, but I was never one to actually like it myself because I have such oily skin, so I feel like I'm just a natural highlighter. <laughs> but this, I need to take a moment and breathe when I look at my highlight. Like seriously, aliens in outer space can see this highlight. I was driving in the car with my mom and my mom goes, I can't even look at you without my eyes being directed at your highlight because it's that bright. And I was just like, that's what I'm going for. Duh. <laughs> so let me tell you guys what I did because I didn't film it, but I have been wearing it like this for the past couple of days. So I will apply foundation, I will apply powder, and then I will apply my highlighter, especially cream highlighter, sometimes before I even do my contour and blush. I will always, mostly, if I'm doing cream, will apply before my blush. So I take the, I have a little sample size of the Benefit Watts Up Highlighter. So, let me roll it up for you guys. So what I do is I just take this little highlighter, rub it on my finger, and then I will just pat it over the high point on my cheek where I want it. And then I will go in to the Tarte what is this? The Tarte Energy Noir Clay Palette. And this is just a highlighter that I've been really, really liking. It's the Crystal Spark Highlighter up here. But seriously, this highlighter on its own is just like a beam of light on your cheeks. But on top of this cream highlighter, like, in real life, you, you just... You just can't. I, I can't. I can't. Like, no. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. And then I will apply my blush and just blend it up onto my, into my contour as well. And that also blends the highlighter out. So it's just, what, what? So it's not just this like white streak on my face because I have really oily skin. So if I apply the, any sort of cream highlighter or liquid highlighter, it sort of picks up my foundation. So I like to do this before I do my blush or even contour sometimes because it sort of blends it all into my skin and I always make sure to powder first. So yeah, I think that's all I had to say about my highlight. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of this camera. I hope I'm in focus. I, I'm trying to look at myself. I might be looking a lot throughout the video up there because my viewfinder is now up top instead of to the side. So it's a little different for me. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys like this video, then give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I would love that. And let me know what you guys want to see next because I will be filming in the next day or two. Yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see because I want to show you guys what you want to see. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. That will all be right here as well as down in the description box. As well, all the products that I use today will be down in the description box also, <laughs> excuse me, ugh, this is why I don't like lip gloss. Hair and lip gloss, not friends. Now I have lip gloss all over my hair. No, not, not cute. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!